Hey you guys, so I missed you first of all. Merry Christmas. I know that I took the little break on Christmas which usually I post every Monday and Friday so if you ever wonder when I post or if you don't get notifications or whatever, it's always Monday and Friday. Um, and I've done that for years but it couldn't have come at a better time. I was actually planning on doing like surprising you and posting like a little vlog that day. I was so sick on Christmas and like we couldn't even have our family over it was horrible like I woke up and I probably still sound bad because then we all got colds after that but anyways I had like a 24-hour thing on Christmas morning like at 4 a.m. I woke up it was horrible I had fever chills I was aching I could not move all day it was horrible especially since this was like the first Christmas where Olivia was like really excited and could really play with stuff but we were okay but I, I still just had to stay Brad and I didn't even open presents until like the next day like I couldn't even it was pretty bad um and then the next day I woke up and I was like wow you know I felt good and I thought I might you know I might film my video and I, I looked like the grim reaper I was like no I can't I can't subject them to this I don't know I, looked, I literally looked like I had been like punched in the face it was horrible so then that night we all got colds I probably still sound a little funny Olivia has been really sick Brad has been really sick it is just like kind of wiped out our whole house Everyone that we've known has been sick, so anyways, it's been kind of rough, but I am back today. I really hope that you guys had the best Merry, Merry Christmas and that you really enjoyed a lot of good times during your break. I hope that you had a good break, but I, I want to say like I did, but it's just really hard when, when you've been sick, but anyways, I always say things could be so much worse, so I'm always fine with it, but um, still, but it still really sucks. So in today's video, if I seem a little meh, I mean, let's be honest, like, I usually don't like, I'm not like swinging from the chandeliers and like bopping around to music and stuff. I'm pretty like low-key anyways, but if I seem a little like, eh, it's because it's, it's been, it's been, it's been a rough several days. But I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorites from this month, some things I got for Christmas, and we're going to do an unboxing, which I usually don't do. This was a little kind of big present that I bought for myself, which I usually don't do that. I mean, if I'm going to buy something for myself, I, I'll get it for myself. I, I don't like buy things and then like wrap them up and say these are Christmas presents because that's not really what presents are. But when I got this, I put it under the tree because it was so pretty and then I just thought, I'm not going to open it. I'm just, it was like exciting, you know? And so then I, I looked at it all through the holidays and then when Christmas rolled around, I was like not opening stuff anyways because uh, I didn't feel good, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to wait, and I'm going to unbox it on camera to be fun, because I, I know what it is, but I haven't seen it, so that's exciting, and, you know, I'm going to show you just a few things that I got, and I want to be honest with you, like, I, I thought about doing a best of 2016 thing, I know I've done that in the past, but I just feel like it's so redundant, I feel like you know what I like if you've watched my favorites every month, and I just feel like it would just be overkill, and then I feel like sometimes my favorites from December get kind of overshadowed, and I've got some good ones, Oh my gosh, and oh, you can't see them. But we're going to talk about these roses that last a year, which is really cool. That was a Christmas present, too. Um, they smell so good. I had to mention it because I'm like... Anyways, okay, so I have a little box of favorites. This is a cool new product that I don't think I've mentioned to you guys at all. It's the... Like, I didn't show it in a haul or say, you know, whatever. It's the Dry Bar Blonde Ale Brightening Cream. If you have blonde hair, you have got to try this. So I'm actually going back. I made an appointment. I'm going to go back and get mine a little blonder, actually. I love the tone that she did this time, and she kind of, like, pulled it, you know, through, like, this part. But I want it to be a little more so at the roots. I still feel like it's a little dark. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to do that soon. But back to this. This is so, so freaking cool. And it's in this little purple bottle, but it's not purple. It's, like, a shimmery. This smells like an Aveda product, like, pepperminty. Kind of like if you got, do you mean, like, sea breeze? You know what sea breeze smells like? It smells like sea breeze. But I really like it, and I know that's weird for your hair, but... You put it in, in damp hair, and it's like very thin, and it makes your hair feel like, you know like when you put a primer on your face? That's what it feels like, but it's not greasy. It just like makes your hair feel like slick. Um, yeah, mine's not looking so hot. Maybe I should have done something extra. This always comes off, whatever. But um, it's really good. And I don't know if I notice it making my hair brighter, but I like the feel of it. It makes your hair feel slippery and slick and like... 
it, it dries faster, if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, this is a really cool mask. It's the 5-in-1 Bouncy Mask by First Aid Beauty. It's, like, really gloomy out today, so sorry. I know. I'm, this isn't, like, a makeup tutorial, so the lighting isn't, like, super important, right? But this is really cool. So it's like a gel. It's like a weird gel consistency. Um, has that kind of, like, aloe, watery, fresh smell that a lot of these products that are, like, I mean, everything now says skin plumping, bouncy, blah. And I love that because I have oily skin, but I need moisture because I get really dry around here and through my cheeks and stuff. And I'm not as oily as I used to be, but I like my skin to be very moisturized. And this is such a perfect counterpart to my Clinique moisturizers that I use, the Moisture Surge, which, you guys, that is the best moisturizer. Like, I've repurchased both of them. I use the, mo the intense one in the morning which is kind of like opposite what you would think because I like how silky it is and my makeup goes on really good over it and then I use the gel one at night. You guys have got to try those. Anyways, this is just so good. So you put it on and it's like a, you know, like a thick, goopy mask and it makes your skin feel cool, like it's just drinking it in, you know. That's how the moisturizers feel too, but, I mean, different brands, but it's just, they, they feel like they kind of work together. Um, five in one bouncy mask. What's the five? Okay, so it says nourishes, calms, firms, plumps, and refines. This is a drugstore eyeliner that my mom got me hooked on, which is, is really cool because I have been loving that really thick liner look, you know? And she got me that, she gave me this a couple months back. And I used it a little and thought, ooh, this is cool. And then I just started using other things. I started using that Lancome one, that really like thick velvety one when some of you guys were like, that's intense. Like, whoa, Tiffany, like pull that back a little bit. I really like it. I thought it was cool. Um, and I like thick liner. This is so easy. So it's called the Master Precise Curvy, and it has like a wand like that, so you can turn it to the side and make it really thin, or you can make it really thick. This is the best eyeliner. Like, you guys, it's in a pin. You don't have to dip it. It's not messy. It doesn't get on your eyelashes. Like, it's really good, so try that. So I wanted one of these for Christmas. My mom ended up getting me two of them, which was really exciting. It's the uh, Chanel Rouge Cocoa Bomb. I know the lighting's getting weird, but like I said, guys, it's just dark outside, and whatever. We're doing good to even, like, be seen. Um, I'm doing it to even be sitting here today, like, to be honest with you. I, I need to feel, I feel like I need to pep it up. I feel like I need to kind of wake it up a little bit. Oh, I need to, like, breathe. Just, like, the Rouge Cocoa Balm. I've already, I've, I love this stuff. I go through it pretty quickly, though. Like, I've already used that much of it. I don't know if you can tell since, well, let's see. They came over a little early. We did something just kind of easy at home, like, for my grandma's birthday. They came over, like, they usually come over every week, but, um, we had dinner for my grandma's birthday, and we just decided to exchange our Christmas presents then, even though they were coming over on Christmas Day, which didn't happen, which is going to happen next week, so we'll have Christmas and New Year's. But yeah, so I've been using it maybe like a week, but I just feel like I used them so fast, but I was so excited that I got two, and then I ended up getting my mom one of the color ones, so it was kind of funny. We just kind of swapped. Okay, so you guys, gifts. Okay, so I got some new sunglasses. I decided, okay, I always say I'm not a sunglass person, and you know what it is? It's not that I don't like them. It's not that I don't, because I wear them every day. I will wear the same pair of sunglasses every day for two years, like if, if I wanted to, like if I really love it. You know, like I'm not, I don't feel like I always need different ones, but I wear them out, and I really like nice ones, and I, this is the thing. If I had the face type or the face shape where all sunglasses looked good on me, I would probably have a lot of them. But I just don't spend a lot on money, of money on sunglasses because I'm really, like, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm picky about how they look. I just, I guess I am because they just, I'm particular because they just don't all look good on me. So I can't just put them on and be like, yeah, let's just go with this. So my Tom Ford and Nushka sunglasses, the big black ones that I wear all the time, they're kind of big cat eye ones. I love them. And I was looking, they come in so many different like colors. So I thought, you know what? I mean, not like crazy colors, but um, I thought, you know what? I'll get a new pair of those. Like I, I think I want some of those. So I told Brad about it and he got me the coolest pairs. This is, um, they're not the tortoise, like just the regular tortoise brown. It's brown, but the lenses are like this mirrored, like peachy, I don't know. I'll, I'll try to find the same exact ones. Isn't that cool? I really love them. I think they're so, so cool. So I cannot wait to wear these. And I love now that I've got like multiple ones. You know, like I've got the black ones, I've got these. So I don't feel like I have to, or like I'm, I'm messing them up. And I like the mirrored look because I have not found any mirrored sunglasses that like really stick, you know, that I really like. So I'm so excited. And the mirror is different. They're like a goldish, like not even gold because I wouldn't like that. They're peach. You know what I mean? It's like a pretty peach, but kind of purpley at the bottom. Um, that was a fun surprise, but I got me some earrings too. I was really surprised about that. I have really been wanting this perfume, the Woods Agency Salt by Jo Malone, and I love it. I know that I've 
I know I love it because I've had, at first I had a little sample and then I got the little spray in that set from my, uh, from Nordstrom and I decided I wanted the full size one. That was one thing that I knew I really wanted for Christmas so he got me that and oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I just, I love this. It's so fresh and clean. It feels like it's fresh. It's like, it's fresh and clean, but it has like a, like a warm scent to it too. Uh, but this was really cool. This was surprising. So I like carrying that little one in my purse, but I don't think it's refillable. You know, it's just one of those little ones that you buy. He got me this one too that they were selling at the counter and it's called a Travalo. And it says it's exclusively for Bloomingdale's. I guess that's where he got this. And it's a little purse spray. And so they can fill this up, I guess, with any of their refillable fragrances. And he said that I think they were supposed to like, I think he said they just gave, no. No, I think he bought that. What was it that was special? Oh, they didn't fill it up with my perfume. Like, they didn't charge him for the refill. They they used... Or maybe that's part of it. I don't know. Whatever. But they didn't use my, mine to refill it. Is that how it would even work? I don't know. But this is really cool because I don't like carrying perfume bottles in my bag. I like carrying the little ones, but those are hard to find. I don't think you can buy that separately. That was just a little one that came, you know, in that little set that time. Is that smell. It's just very classic. Like, it's not clean. Sometimes Some scents that are too clean and fresh smell kind of like cheap. Like, oh, that can just be anything. Or it's like soap or it's like a, I don't know, like a body splash. Or it smells like that, like, typical, like, green or, like, rainy type scent. Or, like, soapy. Too soapy. Although I do like soapy scents. But this one has also this hint of, like, a really sophisticated, like, Okay, sorry, I had to change my battery. I can't get it together. Um, but yeah, I love it so much. Oh, and I wanted to mention this is that top, which is kind of see-through now that I'm looking at it. Um, so this is that top, or the sweater that I mentioned in my last video, which if you haven't seen that, you should watch it. Because honestly, like, I found the best things for winter. Like, those things in that video, so good. And this was the top that I, or the, I keep saying the top. Well, this is the top, whatever. The sweater that I had ordered. And this is that Free People sweater. It is so lightweight, like it's very, like, th thin, like it feels like air would get through it, but it doesn't. It's, is that weird? It's kind of weird, but it's just so cozy, and I love that the turtleneck isn't very, like, huge. It just kind of flops down. I got it in the, um, like, the blackish brown color, too. It looks kind of brown, like, black, chunky. Like, it's, ugh, I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's, like, black with tan little chunks in it, but... It's just very relaxed looking, like it looks like the shoulder, you know, it's one of those like very relaxed looking ones, but um, it's kind of long. And it's on like with some of those leggings from the video too that doesn't even match, but it's comfortable and it's cute, so whatever. Um, is it cute? I don't know. And I have to show you guys, this was such a surprise. I follow this company on Instagram and I guess Brad has like seen that or I don't know what it is. Maybe I mentioned it to him one time, like this is cool. I don't even know, if, I don't know. Okay. So it's this company called Venus Effleur, and they're roses that last a year. They make ones that last like a week too, that aren't as expensive that you could get like just for like an event or something. But these you can get that last a year. You don't water them, you don't do anything. I thought, are they gonna feel kind of waxy? They feel like real roses. They smell like real roses. When I first opened them, it was kind of overpowering. I was like, oh my gosh, but it just, the scent kind of fades and it's just, it's beautiful. You can get so many different box colors. This is like the biggest one, I think. Um, so he really like surprised the crap out of me and this is just like perfect because I just, I love the all white, um, but you can't get different boxes, but like look how huge this is. It's so cool, but I don't know if you can see how beautiful they are, but it's, it's not like there's, I don't know. It's so, it's so bizarre. Um, so anyways, I was, I posted a picture of it on Instagram and, um, I also posted it to my Facebook and a girl that I know. Um, who is a florist was like, I know how they do that. And she said that they grow them under some kind of like special thing, like they're treated, like how, when they grow them. I don't know, but they have like rainbow roses, black, the black roses are beautiful, but you can buy like just single ones, which would be cool to put like in bathrooms because they smell so strong and they're just so cute. You get little boxes of four, smaller boxes of like nine or, but I am just sh so shocked about this and I don't know where to put it. Like everywhere, like it's so special. It's one of those things that looks good everywhere I put it. Like I put it on the coffee table in here and then I was like, okay, I don't know. I'll probably come in there and Olivia will be like tearing it apart. But then she doesn't really mess with stuff. But if she saw this, she'd be like, wow, that's fun. Um, I had it on this table, it looked pretty, but then I thought, 
I really want it to be able to see it all the time. So I just have it like sitting in the kitchen on the counter and it's just gorgeous. It makes me so happy. So anyways, that was like such a fun surprise and I just, I can't even believe it. Oh my God, y'all. It smells so good. All right, you guys. So I, I am so excited. I'm glad that I waited. I mean, I don't even know. Like, I, like I said, I'm not a big unboxer. Like I don't do a lot of unboxing videos, but I just thought this would be really fun. I don't know. I thought it'd be cool to throw in. Okay. That was the most like set up thumbnail of all time. I just had to do that. Okay, so I honestly, like I said, I don't do unboxing videos. And I think what it is like, like if I do, I'll say I'm unboxing this, but I've I've seen it, you know, like I I don't, I don't know, I've just never done that. But this is kind of fun. So I don't know what it is about this. I just I literally I knew what it was. I was so excited about it, but I thought. It just, it was, something was so exciting about knowing that it was, part of it was just like, it was pretty when I sat it under there, like when I opened it, but like when it came, um, because I got it sent because, um, it was something that you couldn't find, like on the website, I thought, well, I'll just go to the store to get it, you know, and then on the website, it was always available, and then it went to like call for availability or whatever, so I was like, Ugh. and... I thought, well, you know, I'll call and see. We were going to go one day, but it, like, just didn't work out, you know, because I was thinking I was just going to get out of the store. And so when I called, there was only, like, two of them that they showed in um, the United States. One was, like, in Miami, and one was in Atlanta. So I think the Atlanta one was the one that my sales associate had gotten because I had told her that I wanted it. And I ended up texting her and was like, you know, we can't come in, whatever. Um, cause Brad had, to, Brad had a meeting that day. We're going to, like, all go together and, like, do the pink pig and stuff, which I think goes until... Gosh, does it run till after the new year or does it stop? We used to do the pink pig when I was old. Did you guys do that if you're from Atlanta? Now they have like a newer pink pig or whatever, but um, it's like a ride that only comes around at Christmas that they used to do with the old riches. Uh, but now they do it at the Macy's at Linux. Okay, anyways, so we were going to do that, like make a whole little day out of it, but whatever. Didn't work out. So anyways, the, the Miami store, she was like, they don't have that, but then the Atlanta store did. So this was, I guess, the one that was meant to be anyways. So like I said, it was shipped, and when I opened it, I was like, whoa, and I just ended up putting it on the street, and I thought... You know, like, I'll just, I'll kind of, um, just, ooh, just fun to look at. So, I have not, I will say, I have not bought anything. I bought that scarf since they changed the packaging, but it came in, she, my, my, but Cindy put it in a different, like, the original, um, what's it called, uh, it was Steven Sprouse, the scarf, you know, that collection, um, the one that had, like, the graffiti on it. Uh, and she said they don't, she could only find, like, she knew they had one of them stashed in the back. So she went and got it. Like, I think they were saving it because they didn't make it anymore. So she went and grabbed it. Um, they make the scarves still, but they weren't doing that little um, dust bag for the scarf that had the hot pink graffiti on it. Anyways, they, I guess they were just putting them in these. So I haven't gotten a dust bag, like in one of the new ones yet, that has the, um, the blue on it. When I ordered it too, yeah, I asked the girl, I was like, could you get, because I was like, like extra wrapping and stuff, even if it's just for myself. And um, she goes, yeah, I'll give you the purple wrapping, but this is blue, right? It's, it's orange and blue, or what do they call this? Not persimmon. What do they call this? Um, hmm, what's the word? There's a word. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I've heard people say that it reminds them of like Hermes, like, they're like, oh, but when you, the colors are no, this is much more like yellow, um, like much more like tan. Not tangerine. Um, what am I trying to say? It's that word too. What is the? They call this a color. The color is called something. Anyways, this is a color. Because I, I looked it up. Like, why is it that color? That they used like years and years ago. And what's interesting is if you look at like the very first uh, Louis Vuitton bags, they look just like Birkins. Um, so it's kind of like I have to look. I don't know which one came first. I don't know what happened there. Um, but I remember thinking like that's interesting. But this was a color that they used a long time ago in their original packaging or some kind of original something a long time ago i don't know but i just i read that somewhere um so i've got the, the receipt um barf uh let's see. Let's look and let's see. But yeah, so I was excited to get the, this is the longest unboxing in history. Am I talking about the most random stuff? Guys, I'm so excited. Oh, there's a tag. Yeah, the tags are kind of, one of them was hanging off. It's called a, okay, let me show you what it is. Okay, right? right uh, see, I'm bad at unboxings. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I 
have been wanting this backpack for a long time and, and I thought I'll probably never get it you know I don't know or should I or whatever is it worth it but I had been carrying that older one of mine that you guys have probably seen like on Instagram and stuff and this is interesting because it doesn't feel as big as I expected it to be it's like the size of my other one because you always see these and you think that they're so like huge and like but this is actually like a manageable size to carry like as a bag um so I've been carrying that older one that has the um you know like it has the vachetta or whatever the leather on the bottom and mine is so stained it's so gross but it is the most comfortable bag and I love it I love the print of the bag being on the backpack sometimes I feel like it's a little flashy if I have like a Louis Vuitton bag that's this print that's just like all out front. I like the backpack you know I don't know I just I love that backpack but what was annoying about it is that that other the older backpack has one and it was the bigger one that has like the cloth um because the smaller version has the um, leather. See, I know what I'm talking about, but I, I don't really, you know, I don't like know all the terms. Um, I just kind of know about that one, but it had like a very small pouch in the front, and then the rest of it was only accessed like this. So like if I needed something, I would have to, okay, swing it around and undo it. Because you really couldn't put much in this front pouch, like my wallet wouldn't even fit, you know what I mean? So I wanted one that I could put all of my big things in. It's the perfect bag like for Olivia, for like kids and stuff. But then this one has so many compartments so I can put all my stuff in these compartments. And then this is the coolest. Wow, this that is a big compartment. Like, that's huge. So I could put so much stuff in there. And I love that the bottom is canvas, that it's not the leather that's gonna get so messed up. And it's got these two pockets that um, hold a lot that will hold all my goodies and then it um, opens up like the other one did oh and it doesn't have a pocket the other one had a little pocket in the back this one does not but no problem since there's so many other pockets so let me kind of cinch it um, it says Louis Vuitton made in France do people really I don't know I used to like I used to care about that I kind of did. I kind of didn't. I didn't really know if I should care or not. I don't really know what the big deal about that is. Um, I know some of them are a little different, but oh, something that is different about this one is that the straps adjust with this rather than I think my other one had a little thing. I already sold it. Is that bad? I mean, I don't like to. S I don't sell bags to get bags because I feel like, and I always say. I mean, I, I get that. Like if you have to do that or you want to do that, that's totally cool. But for me, I feel like like the excitement over a new bag will kind of cloud sometimes your judgment about other things and you'll think, oh, I can sell this to get that and then you'll wish that you had those. That's why I don't sell a lot of things. If I do sell things, I do think it's smart because I don't like to keep a lot of crap laying around. Like if I have old bags that I know I'll never carry, if something has sentimental value or I love it, of course I'm going to keep it. But like if I know, like with that backpack, I knew I was going to get this one and I thought I'll never carry it if I have this one, so why keep it? Um, so that worked out really nice. But do you see what I mean about the size? It's not like a big, like, it doesn't look like luggage. Like, okay, I'm going to the airport. You know what I mean? It's just, like, perfect, right? I don't know. Do you guys, are you guys, like, getting this? I don't know. I'm just, I'm really about this. Like, I love this backpack. And I have been so excited. This is exciting. And it's something cool, because, like, I feel like this is a kind of an uncommon bag. Like, you don't see this one a lot. And... Um, not, I don't mean that like that's why I would get it. I don't get things to try, like to say, oh, this is really unique, so that's why I'm going to get it. I think that's just as bad as like wanting things because everybody has it, which I don't think that's bad either. If you want something, just get it. Who cares? You know, who cares if it's unique or whatever? If you like it, you like it. But I feel like with this one, with Louis Vuitton, I feel like it's kind of common. You see kind of like, you see the speedies, you see the Neverfolds, which I love. I have those and I love them. But this is kind of cool because it's the original like monogram print, but you don't see this backpack too often. So it's kind of interesting. I feel like it's kind of special. And I love this ring right here because I could put something really fun on this. Oh my gosh, that would be so fun, right? I could hang like a cute little, I don't know, I'm not really typically like a bag charm kind of person. And I don't really have any cool ones that I like. But, um, I don't know, I may look and get a cool one now, because that would be really fun hanging off a backpack. A lot of times I feel like it's, I feel goofy with something, like, hanging off of, like, a bag, where it's, like, you know, like, in your face. But if it's in a backpack, that might be kind of fun. So, I don't know, I may have to look into that. So, I'm excited about that. I can feel my voice kind of, uh, going. Um, so, okay, let me just get in the frame before I talk to you. So, guys, like I said, I really, I, I so appreciate you guys watching. I really missed coming on here but it just it really did it was a good break 
and I wasn't really even planning on doing it. I was going to post a vlog. Like, I had vlog stuff that I was going to maybe put together one night after Olivia went to sleep, you know, like a bad time. But now I'm kind of like, it worked out perfect because I was so down for the count. Like, it wouldn't have, I mean, nothing would have happened anyways. So, so I really hope that you guys had the best holiday season. I, I'm glad that I'm going into 2017 with this funk behind me. We're still not 100% well. It's a lot worse in the morning. Olivia kind of had a bad day today, so I really, I really hope that she's going to maybe start getting a little better tomorrow the next day. It's just so hard when the, when the little ones are sick. But yeah, you guys, I just am so thankful for you guys. I have my traditional resolutions video, which has become a tra tradition that I really love doing that's coming up, which is good because it's a little personal. You know, I'm going to talk about some things that happened this year, some goals of mine. I like it. I think it's pretty deep, and I like doing that every now and then. I do. It's fun. So we're going to do that, and I just, I'm just so thankful. I'm just so happy. What is my camera doing? I don't know. Is it on a weird setting? Oh my god, I hope this is, uh, it's like, it's like arrows around my face. Probably because the lighting's freaking out in here. It knows that, like, there's not enough light. It's been really gloomy. Um, yeah, we'll keep doing, kind of filming in different rooms, even though it's kind of like dark and weird in here today. But um, this is our, kind of our little like sitting room area in the front that I, that I really like. I love this room. It's just, it's very like calm and, you know, I have like my desk in here that I sometimes, you know, I don't have like a lot of my stuff here, but it's nice to sit at this desk sometimes and like edit or get things together. It's just kind of like a general desk that everyone can use, but I really like it. I just, I love this room. And I'm looking at my dinner table, my dining room table that we did not use for Christmas. But I have a vlog coming up, and I showed you guys like when I was setting the table, and I'm like, oh, I'm done. Whatever. At least we're we're gonna do it next week. But um, and a vlog will be coming up too. I've got I've got a good vlog, and it's gonna be like more Christmas stuff. And I've got an update on the kitchen. It's gonna be like the final kitchen update, like with the new countertops and all that. The kitchen is it's so good. I can't believe it's my kitchen. So I got a lot of stuff coming up. Okay, I'm gonna go drink some tea and rest. I love you guys. I hope that you have a very, very happy and safe. I hope. Th wait, am I po when am I posting this? Yeah. Hope, hope you, I'm, I'm delirious. It's. Um, I don't know what it is. It's cold medicine. Um. Have a happy and safe New Year's Eve. And um, yeah, I will see you guys next year. Love you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.